Greetings from Mission Control Houston, and welcome to Space Station Live. It's Wednesday, September 11th, 2013. You're joining us here inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room, located at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Inside the room right now, the Orbit 2 team currently at the console positions, monitoring the systems on board the orbiting laboratory and the crew on board. They're being led today by Flight Director Mike Lammers. Uh, the crew on board today, beginning the first official day of Expedition 37, following the departure of uh, three astronauts yesterday evening. Uh, on board right now is Expedition 37 Commander Fyodor Yurchikin, and he is joined by European astronaut Luca Parmitano and NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg. Three, uh, as mentioned, formally beginning Expedition 37, their first full day today, following the departure of three uh, former Expedition crew members yesterday evening. Uh, that crew, NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy, departing Expedition 36 commander and Russian cosmonaut Pavel Vinogradov, and another Russian cosmonaut Alexander Mazurkin, left the International Space Station after spending 166 days in space. Uh, they started off saying their final farewells to those remaining on board before loading into their Soyuz TMA-08M spacecraft, which was docked to the Poisk module on the space-facing side as Vesda. The three once on board were able to close the hatch and conduct a series of leak checks on their vehicle to ensure its integrity before uh, undocking and departing from the station. But again, those three had been on board uh, for 164 days total, 166 days in space. Uh, Fina Gradov now 10th on the all-time endurance list after his time in space with a total time of 547 days. Uh, the departing NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy now has logged 182 days in space, this being his second space flight, his first STS-127 back in 2009. The third co uh, astronaut uh, on board Alexander Mazurkin now with a total lifetime of 166 days in space as he was the rookie space flyer with this crew. So again, this video taken from yesterday uh, afternoon central time as the, the crew loaded on board their Soyuz craft and uh, the hatch was closed between the uh, Poisk module and the Soyuz. Uh, the, uh, once on board, they again, they did a series of uh, leak checks between the two craft for uh, a number of hours uh, to ensure the integrity of the Soyuz craft before departing from the International Space Station. Also having uh, said farewell to the three remaining on board who would become the crew of Expedition 37, that increment formally beginning following the departure of the Soyuz craft. Crew on board uh, prepared and undocked uh, on time successfully at 6.35 p.m. Central Time. That undocking occurring after the hooks holding the Soyuz craft uh, in place are retracted. Uh, the springs on the docking mechanism pushing away. And the craft uh, uh, departing from the International Space Station at a very slow rate at first, uh, only one-tenth of a meter per second. Uh, once it gets a, a little bit further away, it executes a series of separation burns, uh, departing uh, the orbiting laboratory and setting it up for eventual deorbit and landing. Uh, that landing occurring in Kazakhstan, uh, where the Soyuz also launches from. Uh, you can see here uh, images of the craft as it was under its final parachute descent, having already gone through spacecraft separation and deorbit burn. The craft touched down successfully. Uh, last night at 9.58 p.m. Central Time, uh, the touchdown coming just after sunrise uh, in Kazakhstan local time. Once down, all three crew members were uh, removed from the craft uh, by the Soyuz landing recovery teams, uh, manning multiple helicopters and all-terrain vehicles to uh, get the crew out and accommodate them. Here you see uh, departing Expedition 36 Commander Pavel Vinogradov uh, seated in one of the seats that they set up for the astronauts uh, right outside of the craft uh, as they wait to get everybody out. Once they're out of the vehicle, the astronauts will uh, sit here for a few minutes and then be moved over to uh, the medical tent for a quick uh, initial medical screening before being loaded into helicopters to fly uh, back to the Karaganda Airport where they then uh, hop on planes for their home bases. Uh, Vinogradov and Mazurkin heading back to Star City, Russia, the home of cosmonaut training uh, for the Russian Federal Space Agency, 
Meanwhile, Chris Cassidy uh, headed back to here to Houston, Texas, uh, at the Johnson Space Center, home of uh, the NASA Astronaut Corps. So again, that successful landing happening yesterday evening at 9.58 p.m. Central Time, bringing these three crew members back down to Earth after spending 166 days in space. The three crew members uh, completing 2,656 orbits of the Earth, traveling over 70 million miles during their time on board the station, accomplishing a vast array of science experiments while on board, uh, all three also conducting numerous spacewalks. But again, they departed and landed successfully yesterday, and with their departure, Expedition 37 has formally begun. Uh, today is the first full day of that, and the crew on board is enjoying an off-duty day. As they were up fairly late last night uh, supporting the landing from the International Space Station, so they won't be uh, doing much today, getting a day of rest before uh, starting the full contingent of science and repair work on board the International Space Station tomorrow as the crew of Expedition 37.